This space is my heart, my soul, my spirit. About 15 years ago, I had a vision. I had done Donna Karen, I had done DKNY, and I felt, what was the next thing? And I saw this company called Urban Zen, where you walked in, it was cotton, cashmere, candles, CD, cafe, community, yoga, just everything from the mind, body, and spirit, and a gallery. And in this gallery was exhibitions and conferences that would bring people together, or connect the dots, as my husband would say, to make a difference in this world. Stephen was my husband, and he was an artist, a sculptor, my partner in business, father of my children. Drove me crazy. <laughs> I met him when I was 18 years old, and he was far above my head. You know, he would talk about these scientific things of connecting the dots. And string theory. I had no idea what he was talking about. I think until now. Now it all has come together. It all makes sense to me. Unfortunately, Stephen's not here to share in that. He passed away uh, 11 years ago, and it probably took me 11 years to be able to reflect back and move forward. Stephen used to sit every single minute of his life putting dots on a piece of paper and connecting them, and out of that came a horse, an apple, a film, a nothing, an object, a desire. It was, you know, sort of quantum theory, you know, that we're all connected. You know, whether it's mother, father, child, you're connected as family, or in fashion, pants, sweaters, it's connecting a wardrobe. You know, you think about it, really, who we are. Are we just a dot on a piece of paper? And Stephen's philosophy was the connection of those dots. Stephen's first art was he worked in the Broadway theater. So he worked on the sets. And he had a studio out in Long Island City where he started doing his artwork. And then he took this place and he did it all by himself. And we'd hang out here, and the grandkids would hang out here, and the bikes would be here, and his friends would be here. He would work 24 7. He loved his art. And as you look around the room, there's pieces that are not finished yet. And Stephen worked till the very end. Stephen is in every place that I am in. Steve is in the center, and I think you feel the energy here. Stephen met the Dalai Lama right before he passed away and he wanted a prayer. Really, the birth of Urban Zen happened when His Holiness the Dalai Lama came here. At that point, I realized that this center belonged to a dream that I had of connecting the dots, of putting people together who wanted to create change in the world through spirituality, through healthcare, through education, through culture. And it continues. Hi, I'm Donna Karen. Please subscribe to Thinker.